This is gorgeous. Hello my creative friends, Olga Sobi here. Welcome to a new acrylic point video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a beautiful golden flow on a multicolor base. So it's not gonna be a solid color negative space. It's gonna be multicolor base with gorgeous turquoise and blue colors. So something similar to these two paintings and I just love this color combination and the style and all the movement. So today's creation is gonna be third in the series. All of my acrylic colors are mixed with water only. I will include all the names, brands, other tools that I'm using in the description under this video. So please check it out. And now let's get to it. All right, let's dive right into it. I'm gonna start by adding some colors for my base. Beautiful ocean colors today. This is gonna be the main color for my base, greenish blue. This one is Prussian blue. This color has been one of my latest favorites. I use it a lot. It's beautiful, it's very deep rich. It works amazing with white and other shades of blue and turquoise. Do I have a plan when I'm adding the colors? Yes and no. I'm sort of allowing myself to improvise, but at the same time I want colors, a little darker colors closer to the bottom and lighter to the top. But when I'm gonna be over mixing it, it might change a lot. So, turquoise blue. Oh, it's a lot. This is iridescent green blue. I think I want to add a touch of phthalo emerald green here and there. All right, lots of colors on my panel. I can always add more as I go if I want to make certain areas lighter or darker, but otherwise, let's blow this out. Oh yeah, actually before blowing, I want a torch to pop the air bubbles. I love this already. So much depth in these colors. I have been really craving for some deep blue and turquoise colors lately. Just really can't get enough of them. So now I wanna create my golden splashes, my dancing golden flows. But first, I need to plan this out a little bit. I kind of have always the idea in my head where I want to position, but now, after I blew out the background, I need to adjust. I need to decide which areas I want to keep untouched and which areas are gonna be perfect for background. I think one flow I wanna position right here. And I'm adding white first to help my gold stand out a little better on these dark colors. Every time white touches the Prussian blue, like, wow, it's beautiful. So let's add that gold next. A little bit of bronze. I also like to add a few touches of red violet color. Oh yeah, and I have mixed some of these colors. So this one is a mix of orange and white. It turned out to be very soft, pretty, almost like a salmon pink color or peachy pink. I like this color a lot. In such a deep turquoise color palette. Let's blow this out. This is gorgeous where gold blends into the turquoise. 
This one here, last few runs of blow dryer were, I think, extra. Looks a little, it went a little too far. Don't like this line right here, it's too heavy. I'm gonna just dip it out. Just want the section to blow into blue background a little more so they all connect together. This is beautiful. Okay, I think I can stop with this flow. I want to add maybe a one small one just right here. Forgot to torch. But I love how these colors here work together. It's beautiful. I'm totally loving it now. This corner here needs a few splashes of lighter colors, so I want to add iridescent green blue because this iridescent green blue looks amazing on Prussian blue. Maybe a few touches of turquoise blue. So much movement in this piece. Really cool. I want to try something new today. I want to add some splashes of golden drops around these flows. So I have one tiny, really cute cup right here. And I'm just going to add some gold in it fan brush. This one is super old, but it still serves the purpose. And fan brushes are pretty cool if you want to add some droplets. Okay, so first of all, I want to add some here. And of course, there are many ways to add droplets like this. You can use even an old toothbrush, but I prefer these fan brushes. A few droplets right there. And of course, they look especially good on darker background because they stand out a lot better. <laughs> just realized you guys don't see it, but I'm actually dipping my brush into the gold paint. And this is the same gold paint that I used for this flow. So it's acrylic paint mixed with water. Okay, I love it now. I don't think I want to add any more. So when you're working on larger painting, uh, and this one is not huge, but overly big, it always helps to look from above because it will give you a much better perspective on your composition than when you're just looking from the side and trying to look like this. You can also take a picture, of course, but I like to take a step ladder and just climb on it and take a look and see which areas if there is anything I want to change or add, yeah, for example, see that this one is not good here. I also think I need to add some Prussian blue on top here because there is too much light color. But otherwise, holy smokes, it's gorgeous! I can stop now. It's time to show you how it looks dry. Keep watching. All right, here it is all done. Finished with a layer of epoxy resin for a nice and shiny glossy finish. And oh boy, do I love this multicolor base and the explosive energy and expression of this piece. Honestly, the multicolor base is a new hit for me. If you want to see me explore different color combinations and variations and composition for the multicolor base, definitely stay tuned because this is just the beginning. I also really like how gold dried in this piece. It definitely pops on such a dark background. And I like how these, you know, little splashes of gold dried really nicely. And I think they make this whole composition even more dynamic because they give sort of extra movement 
to these golden splashes. And here are all three together. Now, I didn't really make them as a set and each one of the three has different features to it and I didn't align them perfectly together. But even just like that, I really love how they enhance each other. These colors are definitely so dramatic and so much energy. Do you guys ever make something and then you feel really happy and proud? This series is honestly the one for me. Please let me know how you like this trio, how you like the outcome of my last piece and all these three combined. I'll be happy to hear from you. And before you go, I wanted to remind you that right now we are offering $15 off with the coupon code FALL15 for our ultimate acrylic pouring course. And if you want to skyrocket your acrylic pouring skills, this is the website and coupon code is FALL15. Definitely check it out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay creative. Bye-bye.